Warning, the following video may contain flashing images. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, so, right, hear me out. What if Bushido Blade, but 2021? So, this is Hellish Quartz. Um, as you can probably tell from the placeholder fonts and the fact that the bottom right corner, you probably won't be able to see that because I've got things in the way. Um, this is a pre-alpha build, early access, such and so forth. But, um, yeah, should I just, I mean, I'm just going to jump into a fight just to show you what this is. And then I'm going to go into the odds and ends as we go through it. So I'm literally just going to go like that, 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 and do, boom, just to basically show you what we're looking at. And I, I, if you've never played Bushido Blade on the old PlayStation, it's uh, a quote-unquote realistic uh, sword duel system. So as you can see here, we have two players, both armed with weapons from traditional times, and it's essentially a one-hit KO system. Oh, oh, oh. I'm lagging to all bananas. I think that's because I'm recording as well, so I may have to go fiddle with set hangs. Oh, that was a good stab, but not enough to lay him out. Oh, and he took my arm. Right, so there you go. So that first round went to my opponent because he took my arm out and I can no longer, you know, compete. Makes perfect sense to me. So, uh, see so if I can get him. Oh, that's sandwich delayed. Oh, ho, 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 ho. did I mention this was bloody as all fuck? <laughs> oh, I've dropped the controller. <laughs> yes, right in his face. Um, so yeah, if you like a bit of uh, Mortal Kombat and you like want a bit of realism to your Soul Calibur, um, this might be for you. Oh no, it got me right through that chest there. Oh, nasty, nasty. I should have prefaced this saying it was gory as all hell, but never mind. You're here now. And to be fair, right, if you're watching this channel, you're probably not too adverse to... God, why did that not get through his heart? Damn it. Um, I will go over the controls in a moment. Oh, whacked him in the shoulder. He could no longer hold his weapon. I do like the animations. I, I, I've definitely got to do something about the frame rate, though, because it, it's not... I mean, like I said, it's pre-alpha, so, you know... This may actually run a lot better when it's, you know, optimised completely, but it is really good for what it is. I mean, the character models are something else. Did I get him? Decapitation! Ah. So yeah, you can basically see if this is for you right off the bat, just from my first playthrough. Really, really simple. So... Basically, the idea behind this is it's meant to be a historically accurate one-on-one -on -one dueling system. However, I have been informed they are potentially playing with multiple person fights. That's going to be absolutely knocking futs. Um, See, so yeah, if we pop down to the tutorial, they only have basic tutorials at the minute in the sense that you can't actually interact with anything. So... You can use the keyboard, which is the basic programming, or is controller available. It's fair enough. Um, it does show the analog stick there, but I prefer using the D-pad. I find there's a lot more input uh, precision using the D-pad. Uh, so you block automatically. Cancel attack by pressing backwards, which is nice. We do like cancels in fighting. Uh, you can get tired, so be wary of that. There's no stamina bar. You just kind of have to be wary of it. It's not like it's a huge deal. Just don't keep flailing your sword about. I don't know, there's no music in this section, it's annoying. Close range, you just bash them back and send them backwards, fair enough. Uh, very close range, the right trigger will push them away, this is good. Or you can obviously use um, on keyboards. Um, the cutting off the hand is not the thing here, it's literally the push. Uh, you can you know, double tap, quick back step, that's it. Close range, you can sort... Ooh, I've not used the left bumper. That's the gut attack, right? So right bumper does the decapitation, left bumper will do the guts attack, right? If you get grabbed in that situation, push back. 
So you literally just back away from the attack. Uh, left trigger to toggle long guard, which is really, really helpful. Uh, what else we got? Uh, move towards your legs. That's it. That's fine. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, stancing situations here. So yeah, as you can see, the character on the right is going for a leg sweep. So the character on the left back steps and then uses an overhead, which is the uh, <clears throat> the X and the Y button on your Xbox controller, or your square and your triangle button on your PlayStation controller. And yeah, you'll go for a, for an attack on the head. There's special moves and combos, bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. We don't go over tactics. There's your basics. You can do this in your own time, of course. Um, I'm not going to play online because bloated if I'm going to do that. Don't want to rebind controls graphics. I want to switch down to medium for me. And yeah, I'm going to apply the changes. It's going to look a little bit worse, which is a shame because the character models and the backgrounds are superb and they look amazing. But you re you want frame rate in a fighting game. You, you, you can't be dealing with, you know, poor frame rate. So there is no story at the minute. There's something they're building into it. Um, we're going to have just another one-on-one -on -one fight again against the computer just to show you everything. So, <clears throat> we have Isabella with this broadsword. She looks very English to me, but there's no... I can't wait for the full release to get the character backstories. Uh, the character on the far left you can't select yet, as you can see, just about under his feet, under construction. And the sketches on the left are planned. Uh, then we've got Gedeon, who very much seems like a Russian, a Russian gentleman. Uh, we've then got Jacek, who seems very sort of... Um, actually, no, I, I suppose Gaiden could be uh, very German, and this could be very Russian. It's very difficult to see which ones would be, but definitely very strong European influences on these two characters, though. Um, Barbaz. Uh, it seems like a pirate, basic road pirate. Nothing that sort of stands out massively to me. You've then got Marie. Uh, she's a French fencer, pretty much there. And we've currently got Laszlo, who's a work in progress, who again has, uh, I suppose, not so much European, but sort of heading towards Western Asia influences here. But yeah, to, uh, he's actually unlockable at this point. You actually have to do eight uh, battles in survival, which I will go over momentarily. To unlock him, which is neat, so it gives you a bit of gameplay while you're still in early access. And again, they've got like this African gentleman who looks quite amazing, and they've got this I don't know who this person on the far right is, but it's gonna be interesting characters. So there is an interesting cast. Um, let us no, I will stick with Barbaz because I'm aware of a few of his moves. Uh, we won't do that. We will we'll go, we'll go with Laszlo. So at the minute, you can choose passive, defender, maneuverable, or aggressive. So Let's stick to passive, because it's a better way to show off the moves and everything. Um, I love, 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 love these backdrops. They are gorgeous and so detailed, especially this one, right? The gallows. <clears throat> basically, any, anyone who's got a Mortal Kombat hard on is basically loving this. I mean, look at it! Right, have I got my frames back? Not really. I'm still having issues, okay. Never mind, right. So you can see he's, he's slowly sort of thing. You can traverse the arena pretty well. You've got yourself a high attack on the X and Y buttons. You've got a low attack on the A and B buttons. And I'm going to do a long guard. Keep him at distance, keep him at distance. And I'm going to pause. And you can see on the pause, they immediately give you the full list of attacks available. Uh, so, yeah. Let's, let's, let's have a look. Let's have a look. So what, what have we got? So, guard block. Don't press attacks. Auto guard. Simple as. Combo one is a low sweep on B and then a high attack on X. So let's uh, do that. So sweep and... Oh, no. He sort of blocked that. Oh! <laughs> Early access. Saw through the throat that shouldn't have been there. So my combo didn't quite play out, but I did manage to hack his uh, neck somewhat. So that's quite good. So low, high... That guy, it was pretty good. That got his arm, but didn't actually do any major damage. Fair enough. Combo two. So, opposite A and Y. So, low, high. Oh, okay. Nice chest thing. So, belly to legs. So, if we go forward. Oh! And, yeah. We've doubled down here. I basically cut his leg and crippled him, and he took a slice out of my face. So, yeah. What else have we got? We've got a whirl. 
So, yeah, yeah, that, I like that. That's a nice... Oh, no, I did something completely different there. That was not the whirl, that was the lunge. One of my favourite attacks in the whole game because it's just... Get in there. I'm... I think I'm more of a rush down player. Uh. Yeah, they're going to... There's a twirl. It's not very good because he's quite too... He's too far away for the whirl. So the one, two, one... Didn't work because I left my neck open. So it's... It, this is a tactical game. This isn't just a fighting game specifically to just sit there and mash buttons. It's never going to happen like that. One, two, three, and I've left my neck open again. So the combos are good, but it's it's very... You can win by just timing your attacks and knowing where to place yourself, which is really neat. Uh, long go. Long go. Long go. Oh, no, no, no. There you go. See, just time that perfectly, come up and cut him open. Nice and nice. And they got, oh, they got a few win animations. And like I said, these character models look incredible. It's not feature complete, but we're loving it. Let's have a quick go at Marie. Yeah, we'll do it this way. Uh, no, uh, whoop. did I push the right button? I did push the right button. I don't want to keep fighting Laszlo. Let's just cycle through everyone. So we go for Marie, and then we'll go back to having Isabella. Um. We'll try manoeuvrable AI. I've not, I've not tried. I've, like I said, I've completed. Um, uh, well, not completed. I've, I've done some survival mode, so I've actually seen what they should fight like. And I'll probably do that again in a minute. But so, as you can see, this is two very different styles. You've got Marie, who is a fencer, who is very much, oh, very vulnerable. I kind of actually wished Marie was. Um, well, maybe Marie is. I'd, I'd like to see her sort of imitating, uh, doing a, uh, a female fighter that having to pretend they're a male fighter. Jesus Christ. Isabella's broadsword is a bastard. Uh, I don't think it's actually a bastard sword. It's... But yeah, I'm trying to do pokes and she's got that long swing. What, what moves have we got? All in. There you go. All in straight thrust, that's very good. And I, I do like her sassy attitude, Marie. Brilliant. Uh, right, what else we got? A uh, leg swipe. That's quite, you know, it's got quite a long cooldown, so if you miss that, you are screwed. Oh no, it's got a nice cancel to it though. But she, uh, you can see Isabella's definitely guarding. Uh, grab is an arm lock. Can I get in close enough to do that? No, 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 she took me out. She got me good. It's fair enough. Uh, let's have a quick bash with Isabella before I move on to everything else. Uh, we'll go with aggressive. So Gideon. Uh, I'm going to stick us in the field for the minute. This is, this is one of the more basic levels. I don't know if it's going to actually stay like this. Because some of the other fields are a lot better. It's a... But it's quite nice, the horsies. But, oh, oh, the texture is terrible. And it's, I really, you really need to play this on high definition. Right, what have we got? We've got a combo. That was pretty good. Took his arm out. Very nice. Yeah, there's a lot of texturing. <laughs> texturing and a lot of polygons with this grass. It's like, yeah, my computer is just not happy recording this. A Zvicopter. I like that. Oh, yes. Take that boy out. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right, what else? We got? Oh, right. Uh, false edge comeback. Oh, I like that. So you go back and you immediately come back around. Oh, look at the shock on his face. He was not expecting me to nail him there. And frankly, I wasn't expecting it either. <clears throat> we're going to have to try... Um, we're going to have to try some more combo. Oh, I like the... I just noticed the uh, the collision detection on her sleeve. That was really cool. So Gideon, and we'll have Jasek, and uh, 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 let's make it, let's make him aggressive. Let's let's have some fun. Uh, we'll stick to outside. This now we'll go inside because I want to show you my least favourite level, apart from like the 
the, the black test one. Um, it's too small. I hate it. I've got no room to maneuver. If I back up, I'm immediately in trouble. A lot of these characters, they need a lot of space. Uh, up, up. Okay. So he's, he basically... Up, up, and X is basically trying to get around them and attack their arm, try and take it off. Uh, right foot forward, long guard. They've got a delayed cut. And push weapon down. Okay. And that's changed my stance and now has my right foot forward. There we go. So I've got right foot forward. Oh, no, there we go. So I've got delayed cut. Oh, no. I am trying to give this a, a honest, actual, proper go of this. So, yeah, and we've got a delayed cut, so that fakes them out. Okay. Uh, what else we've got? Push weapon down. So if they're if they're long guarding, you just basically swipe it out of the way. But he's not, and he's just sliced me in the guts. Right, enough funny in about. This guy seems to be all about combos and grabbing. So it doesn't pay to be overtly aggressive, but at the same time, it doesn't pay to be. Ah, oh! sliced me right through the chest. Look at that. I mean, you can see the collision detection in his scabbards, just like all kinds of punky, but, you know, it's, it's a good, it's a good game so far. We're liking this. Um, yeah, I suppose, it's, it's to show you the, the test arena, the, the worst one of the lot. It's just spotlight ground. It's fine. It, it really shows the animations a lot better because there's less to animate, but it's my least favourite. Uh, right, well, actually, if you... Uh, Pretty much all the same. There's nothing really amazing. I mean, as you can tell, it's, it's basically swords, and there's only so much you can do with sword play. I'm not close enough to go for his legs, right? He keeps backing away. The one advantage of this area is the fact that you can actually. Oh, I got in close, but he pushed away, right. Oh, beautiful. Right, stabbed him in the gut. Lovely. There is the edge of the arena by the looks of things, though. It's nice and big. Lots of room to manoeuvre. Um, I would love to see a pirate ship, I have to say. Just for just for shigs and giggles, man. Oh, we double downs. We double downs. And the frame rate tanked because I'm recording. I swear to God, it does run a lot smoother. Oh no, I got the win for that! Oh, okay. Oh no, oh no, I already had one round, didn't I? No, so we did double down there. No, he backed up with that. Beautiful. Ah, right, okay. Held him out for too long. Didn't uh, manoeuvre myself around him. Which is fair enough. But yeah, no, all of these, all of these characters are meant to be, you know, very historically accurate with the weapons they use. I mean, oh, okay, yeah, that was a mistake on my half. He's there, grab him, grab him. No, screw it. Uh, yeah, historically accurate, and the clothes are meant to be historically accurate. So, it's good. It, once this is running up in, in like you know final build, it's going to be really interesting. It's going to be a historical world warrior of legitimate um, bladed martial arts. I don't know whether they're actually going to go for anything like... I mean, I, I could see a samurai being included here in some point. That would, like... That's, that's, you kind of almost assume they're going to have to have a samurai in at some point. Um, I would be interested to see if they'd implement a hand... I've just noticed Barbosa's, um his sword in between his hilt and, and the, the end. It's got a little chain to stop him from dropping it. That's really cool. Whereas mine obviously has like the brass knuckle sort of the punching set element to it. That's really the attention to detail is amaze balls. It really is. This is a work of absolute love, and I I, I absolutely adore the damn thing. But yeah, that, that's all the characters so far. I mean, that kind of looks like an Englishman we're going to be picking up next. We could, could I suppose, it could be a Spaniard. Looking at that hilt, it's kind of a Spaniard. 
But yeah, you look like you've got like an Indian or maybe a, a, there might be a Turk on the left there who seems to have a gun. I don't know whether they'll let us use guns, but that should be interesting. But uh, it's, it's, it's got opportunity and potential. But I definitely foresee a... Um, uh, who are we going to go? Let's, let's, let's do Laszlo. I can totally foresee a uh, samurai being implemented into this. i kind of interested to see if it'll go like proper Deadliest Warrior, sort of Native American, sort of hand axe kind of MacGuffins. Anyway, so in survival mode, one win takes you on to the next player. In the first, I want to say, four rounds, you have two attempts at the CPU. And then after that, you've only got one. It's literally one death, and that ends your game. Whereas now I have two opportunities, and Ugh, nuts! I didn't long guard. I didn't. I didn't move. Oh, that was an idiot! Stupid, stupid move. And see, rounds are over in an instant, and that is the bigger pill of this game. It's like, yeah, you would not got these long drawn out Soul Calibur style fights. I would cut your face open and you would you wouldn't be able to fight on. Um and as you can see as well, there's there's some UI elements implemented, but for the most part, you can see Oh beautiful. Um they've concentrated on the core gameplay, the mechanics and the models. Um which is the most important thing. You know, the UI you can tidy that up in the last rounds. They've not gone Oh, let's make this look pretty and try and get people interested. As you can see now, I've had three wins, and now I'm down to one. If I lose this, which I almost did because I'm long guarding and not moving. Oh, double down. I'm lucky there. Um, yeah, I only get one shot at this. Anyway, what was I saying? Yes, the UI can be... It's, uh, some some games like to, you know, oh, this looks amazing, UI, UI, and it's like the gameplay is absolutely garbage. You can't ring out people, which is good because... You shouldn't be able to ring out people in this sort of game. It's 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 a sword fight, not a virtual fighters. I'm gonna fuck you over the edge sort of game. But you yeah, look at the detail, even the, the models of the hanged people. It's it's something. It's there's something about this that's just historically interesting and wonderful, and also very gory interesting. Oh oh oh. I want to bait him into actually attacking, but I'm scared. Oh, oh, okay, we nicked each other. Oh, ho, 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 right through the clavicle, my friend. Have some of that, my pirate bastard friend. I mean, it's, 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 this is a good game. It's well worth picking up in early access because it's really interesting. Now, this could be dangerous for me because she's got a lot more range and a lot more poke. Oh, I was taking her hand off and I didn't. No, she stabbed me! It's over, I lose, and that's the end of my survival round. Sassy little French batch. <laughs> but it's, good. It's, it's really interesting. Let's, let's get Isabelle in him. Because I, I do like a long broadsword. Uh, if. You know, I, I don't know actually, because Siegfried never really appealed to me in Soul Calibur with his whacking great big dirty sword. Oh, I'm too close. I'm too close, really. Is Isabel is, is much more of a medium range fighter. She's not long distance. Oh, that was beautiful. I managed to catch him just as he swung, and I didn't quite react. I kind of hit and hope there. I think I'm not going to claim that I was doing anything clever there. Ah, nuts. So she she attacks. I react. Too slow. Grab, grab. No, she pulled away. That's fine. Mm. Oh yes, I managed to get in there and slice up her arm. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. It's, uh, it's, I don't know, it's, it's one of those games that's sort of really, really interesting me because it's a concept that's done before, but it's now, it's not refined yet. It's on its way to being refined. You can see... That's it. Pull yourself away, love. That's it. 
Might run for the grab and she blocked it and pulled herself back, which gives me the distance. Oh, I managed to nick her, which is quite good. You can see the blood on the sword where I've nicked her as well. That's really good. Attention to detail. And I think Marie should have technically got an attack on me there. Oh, lunge in, take her out off and slice her eyeball open. And it's not, it's not like we're super powered sort of things as well. We're not you know, flashing great big lightning bolts and magic and bullshit like that. It's, it's historically accurate whilst also being really interesting. It's really tense and I love it. I should have committed to that. Oh, I, oh, I thought I was going to take his hand off then. Because, yeah, you can. I think, if I remember right, you can definitely take hands off. As you've seen, you can take heads off. And I do believe I've seen someone take a leg off. But I'm very much... I don't like attacking the legs. It's not my style. I'm very much forward top heavy, which is a detriment to me. Because that's the style I've learnt playing this game. Because mm. I'm like losing half of my potential attacks. All right, okay, I'm backing off. Come, come to me, girl. Come to me, girl. Come on. She's playing very defensively. I don't like it. She grabbed her and she blocked. Okay. Oh, oh, she nicked me, she nicked me. That's not good. She's right there. She's asking for a big swing. Oh, lunge straight through her eyeball again. Beautiful. Oh, no, she got me as well. And the camera's gone <laughs> straight through the corner pillar, so I couldn't even see what she did to me. Never mind, never mind. All right, so let's hold her at bay, and we'll just gently pull her sword away. Need... Oh, no, she kept backing up too much. Oh, do we double down again? Oh, we double down again. Damn, god damn. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We can do this, we can do this. So now I know that I can... Right, if, I, if, I, if I do this... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Bit puffed out. Right, we've got arm stamina. Oh no! Oh, thank goodness I got our wrist. Oh, stab through the heart, and you're to blame. Why do you give love a bad name? Oh yeah. I, want, I think they're going to offer interchangeable. No, they're not going to offer interchangeable weapons. I think. I oh, they might customize weapons. I don't know. It's been a while since I've read the update on the the blog. As to what they're going to plan to do. I don't know why I rushed there. I, I thought I was close enough to go and get a um, a grab. But no. She just stabbed me straight through the gut. Now my, my, my intestines are starting to fall out. Alright. Let's have one more bash at this. Um, I do like Sassy Marie. No, no. Barbas. His weird moustache and hair is just like. It's cool. I like it. Well, I do kind of want to put him in, in like a hat of some description. Just, just a Captain Jack Sparrow. Okay. Also like the fact that he's obviously one of the more fleshed out characters. Because as you can see, he's one of the ones that... In that sketch, you've got to imagine that was the design concept sketch. In between the loads. Um, but yeah, he, he, he just seems like the most fleshed out character. He seems to have an attitude. I suppose Gorgon does have an attitude as well. He's, he's just a drunken general. Actually, I wonder if I like do Viking sort of characters at some point. That might be interesting. This is just like a barbarian class. I'd just like to see a barbarian class in this. Less finessed. Oh, I'm getting exhausted. I'm getting exhausted. Back it, back it. Chill it. He left himself open there, Timus. Why did you not go for the attack? Oh, there we go. Got him in the wrist. Didn't take his arm off, which is a shame. But yeah, he's... he's He seems ready to sort of mouth him off. I don't know what language he would be speaking. Maybe Italian. Well, I suppose his skin's not meant... I don't know. 
skin colour's a bit squiffy in this. I don't know whether it's just the lighting on my whatever, but oh, he punched me in the face and didn't follow it up. There's definitely sliding difficulty. Because later rounds, they don't do that. They, they have at you. There we go. Slice him and dice him in his elbow. Take him down. And ah, kiss. It could be bite my thumb. Who knows? Uh oh. Mirror match. Yeah, the, his hair does not look like that normally. I don't know what my graphics is doing with this recording. It does not appreciate me trying to capture this and play at the same time. It hates it. It looks like... What's his face from The Fifth Element? Okay, I, I kind of tried to predict his attack there and it didn't work. Oh, no, 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 no. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, double downs? No, no, no. I only got a little nick when I actually took him out. Mwah. Beautiful, beautiful. We fuck you up at dawn. I don't know why it went Russian then. Because it's my go-to. Of course that's why. It's a shame we didn't get to see his win animation because he, he, he's pretty good. He looks like he's like, I'm going back down to pub. In fact, we might see it. No, because we see the fact that I've lost. And I'm sort of holding on to my arm that's like, ah, he's ruined my ligaments. I can't actually do anything. So, yeah, this is Hellish Quartz, uh, early access, um, well worth having a look at. Made by, you know, some amazing people. Absolutely, you know, it's a small team but dedicated and really, really, you know, motion capture and all sorts. I've got clothes and weapons productions. This is a proper, proper game. And I just want everyone to go and support it because, yeah, it's amazing. And I want, I, I want this, this is a full game. So, yeah, absolutely wonderful. Well worth getting into. And uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to play more updated version as time goes on. Until then, stay safe, stay honourable.